I recommend you highly to Thanks. anyone that will buy a car or a truck or SUV or anything that they want to protect and maintain. Hey, it's Bill Hurth, Macklet Paint Protection, standing in front of a 2020 McLaren 570S. S means a spider. It looks pretty good. It just got in uh, last night. It's here for uh, full front end paint protection film. Paint protection film stops all the rock chips and stone chips from tearing up the front of the vehicle. Uh, we're also going to do the rocker panels on this. Dan's getting the wash cart set up. We're going to do a full wash on the vehicle. Uh, we're going to foam the vehicle up. We'll do an iron decon process. We're going to feel if it needs a clay bar done to it. Uh, we're going to take a real special note that when we're washing the rims down here, the issue with the rims is they have the ceramic brakes package on it. Uh, we're going to use uh, special soap on that, which is our Gion foam to get in there. That's safe, for the carbon ceramic. You can see the vehicle looks great, but it's, it's real dirty right now. It's just some uh, road dust on it. We'll get all of that cleaned up. I'm going to pull the vehicle back to the wash spot. Dan's going to grab, open the car up. He's going to put the, uh, the floor mat. We're going to protect the seat cover in. We haven't been in the vehicle yet. The customer dropped it off inside uh, here. So we're going to get everything covered up so it's all protected. We'll back the vehicle up, get the pressure washer going, and we will be ready to go. So follow along for the ride here, guys. Okay, so we're moving through the wash process. We just got the rims all done. Uh, the wheels and tires, we used the barrel brushes, got inside, got the barrels all cleaned up. Uh, rinsed them off really well, put the trash bags on, so we're gonna protect the carbon ceramic brakes from getting any contamination, any, any blow off from the rest of the wash process here. The rest of the wash process is safe, but we're gonna get an iron decon, that's what we're really protecting it for. So we're gonna get the foam cannon going. Uh, that's the foam part there. So the foam, uh, the soaps from the foam gets in there, breaks up all the loose dirt. Uh, there's not a lot of dirt on this car, it's not muddy or anything like that, but it's gonna break all that dirt up. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna rinse it off with the pressure washer. We're gonna use the force of the machine, the pressure from the pressure washer. So we're not contacting the car and we're not grinding any dirt in the car, which is gonna put uh, swirls and scratches into it. The foam cannon is honestly, I don't know, for some reason the foam is just fun. Make it, get it all soapy, get it all soaked up, making it look great. So uh, if you're doing this at home, uh, you always stop when it's all foamed up and you take a picture for Instagram and you flex on your friends. So iron remover is gonna get in there. It's gonna bust up any of the uh, Iron deposits, it's not what come from the rotors on this car because it's carbon ceramic, but all the other cars driving down the road, anytime the, the brakes go off, the cast iron, carbon steel brake rotors kicks up. That's on the road, that'll get kicked up during the rain. If you live uh, in an industrial area, industrial fallout, uh, if you live by a railroad track, the big steel wheels from rail cars, that's all kicking iron up. That gets up in the air, comes down, settles on the paint, settles on a clear coat that starts to bury in into the clear coat so the iron remover is a real nice way to get this off the vehicle we're removing the iron now because once we put the paint protection film on we're not going to have a chance to get the paint protection film is going to cover all that up and we're not going to be able to get the iron out so just one more preventive step we're doing here to mac the paint protection we're doing the step now because it's the right way to do it to get the job prepped up so we do this with all the vehicles it doesn't have to be mclaren these are all the same steps we're going to follow uh, if we're doing a hyundai too. So the only difference between the McLaren and the Hyundai right now, and, and the, the McLaren guy's probably going to be pissed when he hears this, but uh, the, the Hyundai guy's going to be happy. We're, we're doing this all the right way. The only thing we, we wouldn't do if we were doing a Hyundai or another vehicle is we wouldn't cover up the, the wheels at that point. So here we are. We've been a couple minutes into the iron removing process here. So this is, car has a few miles on it, but that's the result of the chemical reaction. So there is some iron on this McLaren here, even though it's garage cap and really well maintained, you're still gonna see iron on the car. So I'm glad we took this off the car. Yeah, maybe you wouldn't be able to see it once we put the film on, but I'd hate to not do all this prep work and then put the film on and then, you know, see something in there that's just, just not right. So a little extra step, you can see now we're just kind of standing around for a couple minutes, but you know, we have to kind of stand around and wait for this to... One of the things that makes my shop, our shop, a little bit different than anybody else is we're gonna stop, we're gonna slow down, we're gonna just do things right here to make the paint protection. So we'll let that set up for a few more minutes. We're inside, there's no air blowing on us, so we're not in the sunlight and don't worry about the about it drying off. Uh, you never wanna let the iron uh, decontamination product uh, dry in the vehicle, so it's still wet, we're good to go. We're just gonna hang out for a couple minutes. So we've got the car uh, foam cannoned up now. We're gonna do the contact method wash. So we're gonna actually touch the vehicle with the uh, microfiber wash mitt. So this is really, when we start touching the vehicle, that's when you're gonna introduce the swirls, the swirl marks to it. So if you don't have any big brushes out here, the car, all the grit's been washed off the car with the pressure washer. 
Uh, Dan's going straight line motions, uh, side to side, front to back. Uh, we're not doing the big circle motions. If you ever do, if you are gonna swirl it up. Two bucket method, so we have the red bucket is just rinse water, so we rinse out. That's gonna get any grit, any contamination that's on the car. I know it's not on there, but we're gonna rinse that off, and then he's gonna go into the green bucket, which has our water and our soap solutions. And we're using Gion Bathe here, because we know that's super safe for this vehicle. And if you're doing this at home, do the same thing. If you ever dropped the washer, I took it, it's way off to the side now. You can't use it in the car. So, again, just something stupid. You drop a wash bin on the ground, and then you pick it up and you start dragging all over the car. That, that's a big no-no. It doesn't matter that this is a McLaren. We do the same thing for a, a Hyundai or a Honda or a Kia, but if you ever drop anything on the ground, just, just get it off, off the side. It, it's there now. It can't be used. It's going to be safe. We're going to rinse it out really good. And it's going to go home. It's going to get, it's going to get washed into the washer. All the wash mitts are always washed before they go onto any car for this. So that's just something, another little point out to you. Pro tip, you can use at home if you're watching this. We washed the car up now. Now we're drying it up. Uh, everything's looking good. Dan's using all the correct motions. We're using the Gion silk dryer towel on there. Just real light, throw it on, drag it off. And don't rub the car. There's no need to touch the car with a lot of force at this point. If we need to touch the car with a lot of force, we're gonna stop and we're gonna use a different chemical. Everything should be clean at this point. So we'll pull the bags off and then we'll uh, use our black uh, towels. Black is kind of a cool color, but black means we use it only on the wheels and the door jams. Never wanna use the towel that you touch in the paint to go clean up the wheels on. Just, that's a big no-no, because the wheels are still, there's, there's a chance the wheels are still dirty. There just is. So we don't wanna take the chance of getting the, the dirt from the wheels and the tires and put that back on the paint. That's when you're gonna damage your paint. So everything we do here with all these uh, little steps, little tips, tricks, you can use this at home if you want, or you can bring it here and, and we'll do it the right way for you. So we're gonna go ahead and do the paint protection film the selection process in the computer. We're using Core. It's the software from SunTech now. So we go through, we select uh, 2020. Make is gonna be McLaren. It's a 570S, base spider, open that up. Uh, now we're gonna go pick our parts. We already got it on the cut list here. We already got the fenders on the cut list. And we're going to, so we're selecting wrapped right here, if you can see that or not. Uh, that's gonna wrap around these edges. We'll, we're gonna knock those out because those cutouts aren't on the car, obviously, but we'll take care of that in a bit here. We're gonna add a hood. We want the wrapped hood. This number diagram here, it's kind of paint by numbers a little bit. Uh, so we can land the, around the badge, two, three. Then we're gonna work up around the tips. We're gonna add the mirrors, a bumper, wrapped makes sense for us here we want to wrap that if we can so he wanted uh, he wanted the partial door so he wants the door part to go door up to there we're not gonna do the full door for him that's okay that's something we can do here we can pick and choose give the customer exactly what they want so we're gonna pick the wrapped and now we're gonna add the rockers which is the black along the bottom and then the bumper we're not gonna do the rear bumper here but we're gonna do the orange uh, on the back. Now we got all these pieces lined up on our cutting board here. So we're not gonna take the badge off before we talk to the customer. He doesn't want the badge taken off the vehicle. But to fulfill his wishes, we're going to let the computer cut out where the, the McLaren emblem is on there. At this point, we've already done it. We've cut all the, the, the PPF. Uh, we went through, we cut everything. Uh, that takes some time to cut through. It's uh, also just, that's where an opportunity for an error can come up where the material gets messed. missed aligned to the machine. We've seen that happen before. It's not a fun day. Uh, at this point, Dan's over the table. He's gonna clamp everything down. He's going through the weeding process right now. So the weeding is, it's Dan's looking over at the cut file. He's looking, that's why he says his lamp on. We got the lights on, it helps you see. He's picking stuff off. Some of it's gonna go in the trash, some of it's gonna stay on the table, and then we're gonna put it on the McLaren behind us. We're gonna be doing PPF here shortly in probably the next 35, 45 minutes or so. All right, PPF time. So we got the PPF by the car, car's up on the race ramps, Dan's spraying the PPF down to get it off the release liner. This is called the release liner, not that it matters at home, but uh, we're gonna start off at the back. We're gonna do this piece right here. If we need to adjust the slip solution, we'll adjust the slip solution. The slip solution is distilled water and baby shampoo. Right. So it makes it slippery so the adhesive doesn't bite to the car right away. So let's get going.
So we have a full day of work ahead of us here at Immaculate Paint Protection with this 2020 McLaren. It's McLaren orange, that's easy to remember. I wish all uh, auto manufacturers would name their, name their paints color that way, you know, red, you know, Tesla red, that would be cool. Or So McLaren orange, uh, car's looking great. Uh, we're doing uh, SunTech PPF, so SunTech paint protection film. It's the SunTech reaction film. It's the, the latest and greatest film on the market right now. It has a 12 year warranty. But what we really like about it here, uh, you'll see in the glamour shots when we take the, the after photos and wipe the car all down, uh, the, the depth and the clarity of this SunTech reaction is just phenomenal. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's looking great. Like you want, you think the vehicle's wet right now, it's not. You wanna put your hands, you wanna put your fingers down on the film. Uh, so unfortunately, that, that may be a problem because people wanna come up and touch your car. But don't worry, you got paint protection film on it, self-healing. It's uh, any light marring, light scratches you take it in the sun, it's gonna heal right up. So uh, way to go. Uh, we're, we're really, really excited about this SunTech reaction. It's the, the, in our opinion, it's the best film on the market. It's the most advanced film on the market. Why is that? Well, it's got a 12-year warranty, so that warranty doesn't really mean much. I mean, it does and it doesn't. Um, it's got a 12-year warranty that's backed by some actual engineering, some actual uh, scientific results that they've tested this. But it has a ceramic coating infused into it. The, the Tetra Seal is what they call it. So that's, um, that's something that most of our competitors don't have. And that's something you should be looking for. Um, if you're looking at any of the major brand manufacturers, ask them if there's a ceramic coating infused into the coating. Not, not a coating put on top of it, if the ceramic coating is infused into the coating. That's what you want because that, that coating is applied when they're making the film, when they're putting the clear coat on. So in my opinion, honestly, I believe that's going to be more durable than a coating that we could add on as a secondary measure. Yeah, we can definitely add on a coating on top of this. Paint protection film, awesome. Ceramic coatings are great, but I always do paint protection film before we do the ceramic coating, so. Well, we need to wipe the car down. Let's go over all the edges with the heat gun. Uh, we'll double check everything. Let's print off, you're gonna print off the the, check form, the checkout, yeah. So we'll do the checkout. I talked to the client last night. He knows that he was excited all the films in the car. Uh, we're gonna coordinate when he can pick it up. So we'll probably pick it up late morning, early afternoon today. We'll get uh, Mr. Joe here. We'll get him back in his McLaren, so. Yeah. The McLaren Orange is pretty hot. Man. So we've gone through our morning meetings, the last day, it's day three with the McLaren. We've just, we've been going over the car, took the bags off. Right now, Dan's uh, walking around the car. He's walking around the car, looking everything over. He's heating all the edges. So why is Dan heating the edges, not me? I installed the PPF, so here's a little uh, management leadership technique. I'm gonna set my ego aside, get humble, and let somebody else inspect my work. Uh, I did the install, so, you know, human nature. I'm automatically gonna think everything I did is awesome, which, you know, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. So, but I'll let somebody else check my work, double check my work, Dan's gonna heat everything up. He's got another set of eyes on it. He didn't, you know, he didn't do all the PPF install. He was there right there with me, but he's, he knows what to look for. Uh, if he sees anything that we need to come back and correct, he's gonna flag it off with a small piece of tape. And that's, that's the process here. Uh, a second set of eyes and then after we're done with this, we're going to get the light on the vehicle. We're gonna wipe everything down with Gion prep, get it off the ramps, and we'll go with the official checklist quality inspection. So we're, we're getting close to turning this car over to the customer. Matt, you wanna be on the vlog? So this is Matt Kashian. You can introduce yourself, Matt. Matt Kashian, LA Video Production. Uh, sister company is LA, Adverti LA Advertising, LA Interactive, full service, uh, web development, traditional pr print collateral. Uh, social media handling and now uh, video production most recently in the past four or five years. Yeah, dude, awesome. So Matt's, Matt's the guy behind the scenes. 
uh, coming in, taking all the nice shots for us, doing all awesome, amazing uh, editing work for us when we do, you know, do these vlog style GoPros. So uh, if you're in the market, definitely recommend Matt and his company. He's been helping us out big time here as we grow. So Matt's in here today. We're gonna uh, get some more B-roll for the sizzle reel, professional looking stuff. Yeah, let's see what we can get. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome today. So this is the best part. Joe just showed up to pick up his McLaren. You've heard me talk enough. Joe, thanks for coming back. This is the fourth or fifth car you've brought to us now. I wouldn't want to go anywhere else because I know the quality of the work that you do here, uh, Bill, is always extremely uh, uh, good. I, I would say it's excellent. I have not had any issues with any of the cars that I brought in here and uh, I recommend you highly to thanks. anyone that will buy a car or a truck or SUV or anything that they want to protect and maintain. And I, uh, I honestly, I, I will always speak very highly because I have not had the slightest bad uh, experience with your operation at all. Thanks. And, and you're a good guy. I appreciate that, yeah, thanks. Yeah, you got a lot of nice vehicles and we love having you come in the shop. So thanks for giving us an opportunity, Joe. Thank you.